Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a three line menu using div tags. I'm also going to be applying a CSS transition onto that to give it a little motion so as you hover over it, you'll see it does this cool effect. So it's just something that you can add to your website just to make it a little bit more unique and give it a little bit more style. So let's get into the video and I'll show you how to create this. All right, over here on the right, I've set up my index.html file. I'm linking to my style sheet in the head tag, which I've called main.css. In the body, I have a wrapper class, and this is just going to be where I'm putting all my content. You can easily just put it in the body, it doesn't really matter. Down here in the main.css file, the only thing you really need to pay attention to is the HTML and body. I'm applying a margin of zero and a width of 100%. Also, since I'm using a wrapper class, I have set the width to 100% to match the body. And that's about all you need to know. So let's get into adding the navigation. All right, so in our index.html, we're going to add our navigation. So I'm going to start off by adding an A tag with an href, and then I'm going to give a pound symbol on that. And then I'm going to give it a class of nav. Open and close that. Inside of that, we're going to be adding three divs, one for each line of our navigation. So you can add as many as you want for the menu. You could have five lines if you want. So I'm going to say div. I'm going to give this a class of one open and close that then I'm gonna go down a line and say div class and give this one a name of two and then on the last one I'm gonna say div class of three and so that's basically all you need to do for HTML wise for this three bar menu so now on to the CSS so we have three empty div tags and we need to make them into bars for our three line menu so the first thing I'm gonna target is the dot nav class and then I'm gonna say space div and open and close curly braces. So inside these curly braces, we're targeting the .nav class and every single div in it. So it's gonna apply the style to all three divs. The first thing we wanna do is give it a height, and I'm gonna say four pixels. Next, let's set a background color. So background dash color, and I'm just gonna say white. We're gonna want some space in between our bars, so I'm gonna say margin, and five pixels, and then space is zero. So this applies a five pixel margin on the top and the bottom and zero to the left and the right. All right, so now I want the ends of my bars to be rounded off instead of square. So I'm gonna say border radius, which is border dash radius of 25 pixels. That's it for that class for now. So I'm gonna go down below that. And I'm gonna say dot nav. I'm gonna set the width of the entire navigation class to let's do 30 pixels. I'm also going to set the display to block. Now we need to add some margin to get this three bar menu off of the edge of the screen. So margin, I'm going to say 1EM for the top, 0, 0, and 1EM for the left. So it goes top, right, bottom, left, and that saves you several lines of code. That's all for the dot nav. So now we need to target each div class so I'm going to say dot one, dot two, and dot three. So in dot one, I'm going to set the width to 30 pixels. On dot two, I'm going to set the width to 20 pixels. And on dot three, I'm going to set the width to, let's do 25 pixels. All right, so that's all for the styles on that. All right, now we need to apply our hover effect. So we're going to do that by saying dot nav colon hover space div. So on the nav hover, we're going to target the divs. And I'm going to apply a width of 30 pixels so that it matches the top line and the full width of the nav. So now if I hover over this, you'll see it snap to 30 pixels. All right, so now we need to make this smooth instead of just snapping as we hover over it. And we're gonna do this using CSS transitions, which is a feature of CSS3. And basically what this does is it allows us to change a property value smoothly. So any value you change, whether it's the background color or the size in this case, and no matter how it's done, so if you use JavaScript, in this case we're using CSS hover, we're gonna want it to change smoothly over a given time. So we're gonna do this by selecting the dot nav div and we're going to add transition 0 0.3 seconds and that's all you have to do and with that one line of code when we hover over this you're going to see it animates in and when you unhover it will animate out 
All right guys, that is how to create a three line menu and add a CSS transition to make it smooth. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Let me know if you did by giving this video a like. As always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, it's Kaler. Thanks for watching the video. Click here to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you want to see this channel grow even more, don't forget to share this video. You can click the share button down below. Over here is YouTube's recommendation just for you, so go check out that video and let me know what you think in the comments. Up here is my newest video, and if you haven't seen it already, go give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.